Hey, what's up everybody? David here, your Android junkie over at AndroidSpin.com, and it's time to get a little romantic with our devices. Yes, that's right, it's Monday, the beginning of the week, so it's time to see if your device is getting an update. We're going to be looking at device updates between the dates of April 15th and April 22nd, so let's get started. Looks like AT&T's HTC One X Plus is getting an update, but it's not Android 4.2. No, this is just a little minor update with some fixes. Change log with these fixes are AT&T address book fixes, Bluetooth fixes, Wi-Fi fixes, and other minor bug fixes. The version of Android is still 4.1.1, so no word on when Android 4.2 is going to be coming to this phone, but we will let you know when it does. And Asus is keeping their word on rolling out Android 4.2 to their pads, and they're rolling out Android 4.2.1 to their Memo Pad Smart 10. Yes, this is part of the quarter two promises, and this is version 10.6.1.15, and it's 500 megabytes in size. The main feature of this update is the multi-user support. Outside of that, it's mainly just compromised the 4.2.1 features, so just enhancements, performance enhancements, improvements, all that fun stuff. So if you want to download this update, head over to the SUSE website and they have the downloads for you. Have fun with it. And it looks like Sony has been rolling out Jellybean 4.1.1 to the Xperia Tablet S. Yes, they started rolling out this update on the 18th of April, so some of you might have already gotten it, some of you might be still waiting for it, but hopefully you'll get it soon. This update is only for US, Canada, and Latin American users, so if you are in one of those regions, please check your system updates, see if the update is already in there. And it looks like T-Mobile's Samsung Galaxy S Relay 4G is picking up some Jelly Bean. Yes, this is one of the last standing physical keyboard Android devices. And this update is rolling out in an OTA fashion and T-Mobile states that you won't get a notification on this update, so make sure you check. And if you want to go into the Samsung kiosk, you can hook up your phone to your PC and get that update on your device. Good luck, my physical keyboard friends. And AT&T has announced Android 4.1 Jelly Bean to the LG Escape. Yes, this will be coming out in an OTA fashion as well, so make sure you're on a Wi-Fi connection. Make sure you have at least 50% battery life, you know, the normal stuff. So if you're still clinging on to that LG Escape, checking your system settings, you might have an update waiting for you. And it looks like Sprint is rolling out a minor OTA update to the Galaxy Note 2. Yes, this is fixes that I guess a lot of people were wanting. Fixes including waking advice with the home key incorrectly brings up the recent used app screen. I guess there was a problem with that. And home screen security updates. Like I said, this is just a minor update. Hopefully it fixed those bugs. Let me know if it did. And a maintenance update has been rolling out to the Motorola Droid Razor M. Yes, this is just uh, one of those bug squashing updates. Fixes include improved Wi-Fi connectivity, voice volume has been improved to at set level. It's looking like a much needed update for the Droid Razor M, so check in your software updates, see if you have that update waiting for you. Well, all right, guys, that concludes device updates for this week. Make sure you hit that like, thumbs up button. If you like this video, subscribe to the Android Spin channel if you have not already. Well, I am David, your Android junkie for AndroidSpin.com. This has been Device Updates. Hopefully you felt as romantic as I did. I'll talk to you guys later.